what the ministry fails to appreciate is that the Ghana Education Service is a constitutionally mandated body and that the Ministry of Education can never wish it away. But if they try and understand the relationship that, um, you know, our the people who came up with the idea of the Ghana Education Service and the ministry, that whole vision, they will really know that working together brings a lot of profit. Currently, there is a conscious effort to overtake the Ghana Education Service and the ministry give an impression that they are in charge. But the ministry job is not implementation. Would you say mm -hmm. that we can equally directly blame all those working at the GES today because for those who are there now, we know they have all the experience, they have had all the training, they appreciate all the principles, but they are sitting on the fence and government, if it is not yesterday, today is manipulating the process at the detriment of parents whose words are the beneficiaries. Yeah, you see, uh, it, it, it's, it's very interesting. Um, you see, once you are young and you are uh, uh, appointed into the Ghana Education Service or into the public service, um, part of your whole focus and interest in life is to ensure that you continue to remain at post until you go out on retirement quietly. The evidence is that anybody who attempts to be assertive is removed. And that's just it. I mean, so, so if you want to continue to be where you are, just don't be assertive. Just allow the people who want the power to take it. And then so that you can continue to enjoy your salary, uh, sit down, open your mouth, and all of that. 